Hi, this is Vision from OwnYourWeather.com with another article summary for you. And in this video, we are discussing the difference between a hurricane, typhoon, and cyclone. Uh, as usual, if you can't find exactly what you want or you don't get exactly what you want from this video, uh, you can always go and read the full article by clicking on the link in the description below this video. So, if anything is unclear or you would like some more information, go and read the article. You'll find the link in the description below. So, the best way to describe the difference between these three phenomena is to start by taking a look at a few different satellite images. So, you might have seen an image like this, or an image like this. You might have seen an image like this, or even like this. So, what are you looking at? Well, the chances are if you situated in the United States and the storm system itself uh, has occurred or is occurring in the United States, you're looking at a hurricane. Although in other parts of the world, it might have been called a typhoon or a cyclone. So what exactly are we looking at and what exactly is the difference? Well, you won't be surprised to find out that they're all one and the same weather phenomena. They're all a type of tropical cyclone. A tropical cyclone is just an umbrella term that is being used to describe a hurricane or a cyclone or a typhoon. So what is the difference? Well, exactly that. The only difference is where in the world these phenomena, where the phenomena occurs. So let's quickly have a look. As I just mentioned, a tropical cyclone is the umbrella term used by meteorologists to describe the organized rotating cloud systems which form over the warm waters of the world's tropical oceans. You saw that for yourself earlier on in this video when I showed you the different uh, photographs of different types of hurricanes, typhoons, cyclones. They all look the same. They all have the same characteristics, the same type of shape, same type of size. Um, so that gets emphasized when you look at uh, their characteristics. Um, they have this typical familiar rotating cloud patterns spiraling out from the center into the outer bands. Um, and then if you return to the center, right in the center of the storm system, you, you find what is called the eye of the storm. Now this is a circular or oval shaped clear patch of weather, where the weather is calm, there are no clouds in the sky, which almost always create the false impression that the storm system is over. And on, this, on all sides of this eye, um, they get flanked by the eye wall, which is a massive cloud system. A huge banks of clouds stacked up all around the eye of the storm. In, these, um, in this eye wall itself, you get the highest wind speeds. You get high wind speeds on, on the, in the outer bands themselves as well. But all your highest wind speeds, your most destructive wind speeds, are all concentrated in the eye wall just outside the eye itself. Um, some of the characteristics you can't see but which are also present is the extreme low pressure system that is present right in the center of the storm. A very important point I have to emphasize though is that not all tropical cyclones turn into these massive typhoon cyclones or hurricanes that you see being reported on TV or um, in weather forecasts. Some of them remain localized tropical depressions or even develop into tropical storms but not necessarily into these huge storms um, that reach the news. Uh, I've detailed in the article itself, I've detailed the growth of one of them, the hurricane, from a tropical depression all the way up to a full-blown hurricane to illustrate to you exactly how these massive storms develop. Okay, so now that we know exactly what a tropical cyclone is and that it basically describes each of these three weather phenomena, it, the question still remains, what is the difference between the three of them? Well, a hurricane and a typhoon and a cyclone all gets defined according to their location. In other words, where around the world they occur. The term hurricane is used when the weather system originates over the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean or the Northeast Pacific Ocean. The term typhoon is used when the weather system originates over the Northwest Pacific Ocean. However, when the system originates over the South Pacific Ocean or the Indian Ocean, it is referred to as a cyclone. 
And that, in a nutshell, is the difference between a hurricane, typhoon and cyclone. They are in essence one and the same type of weather phenomena. The only difference, like I said, is exactly where around the world they occur. Uh, apart from that, they have the same type of origin, they develop in the same way, they have the same characteristics. So, they are basically the same thing. Uh, one other difference I might want to highlight is their rotation. If the storm system occurs in the northern hemisphere, it rotates anti-clockwise. If it occurs in the southern hemisphere, it rotates clockwise. That's why you might see some cyclones with their outer bands rotating counterclockwise, some with their outer bands uh, in sort of in a clockwise direction. The one is occurring in the northern hemisphere, the other one's occurring in the southern hemisphere. Uh, that is all due to the Coriolis effect, uh, with another sort of phenomena I'll describe in another video. But apart from that, they're one and the same thing. And I think that's it for now. Uh, like I said, if you want some more information, you can click on the link in the description below the video and um, read the full article. There's a lot more information that I've left out uh, that I didn't cover in this video alone. I've also, in this article, if you're interested in monsoon weather, I've added that since it's another major weather event that also affects a fairly large region. So if that interests you, you can also go and, um, we're not going to cover this in this video, so you can also go and read that in your own time. Uh, if you like this kind of video, give me a thumbs up um, and a like, I really appreciate that. Uh, if you'd like to receive future videos explaining more weather phenomena, you can always see the subscribe button as well as the little notification button next to it. And as soon as I release another video explaining some kind of weather phenomena, weather event, how it occurs, what its characteristics are, uh, you'll be notified immediately. And uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope this has been helpful. And until next time, keep your eye on the weather. Cheers.